Start by roasting one medium-sized red bell pepper right on your stove top or on a grill. Place it on the burner and turn it until the skin has turned black. When nice and dark, transfer it to a cutting board. Let it cool slightly, then using a knife, scrape off the skin. Then trim the top off and discard the seeds. Chop the pepper into pieces and transfer it into a food processor or blender. Then add one cup of chicken broth and blend it until nice and smooth. You can use water for a vegetarian or vegan version. Transfer the mixture into a medium-sized saucepan, passing it through a sieve. Add another half cup of chicken broth for a total of two cups of liquid. Then add half teaspoon of smoked paprika and four tablespoons of potato starch. Whisk it well to combine. Then turn the heat on and continue to mix it until it thickens into a thick gel. Line some baking trays with non-stick silicon mats or parchment paper. Then spread tablespoons full of the mixture. Spread them thin, giving whatever shape you'd like. Place the baking trays in a preheated oven at 175 Fahrenheit, 80 Celsius to dehydrate. You can also use a dehydrator. In the oven, it takes about 2 hours for the chips to completely dry. Once dry, remove it from the oven. Let it cool slightly, then peel off the chips from the mat. If the backside is still wet, return it to the oven for a few additional minutes to dry. Heat up some oil to 370 Fahrenheit, 187 Celsius, and fry the chips. The chips will puff up and fry in a matter of just seconds. Just place them in the oil and the moment that they puff up, they're ready. Drain the chips over some paper towel and sprinkle them with some salt and extra paprika. I am serving them today with some roasted red bell pepper hummus, some wilted spinach with garlic, a seared beef tenderloin, and then topping it with the chips. And it is time to eat! I hope you have enjoyed the recipe, please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel for more recipes to come. Thank you for watching!